Hello and welcome to this Unity tutorial on creating tire trail system. So, if you've ever played a racing game or watched a movie with intense car chases, you might have noticed the trails left behind by the tires as they skid the road. So, these tire marks add realism to the scene but also help the players and viewers understand the movement of the cars. So, in this tutorial, we will learn how to create a similar tire trail system in Unity using the trail renderer. But that's not all. We'll also add another visual cue to the car's movement by making the brake materials light up when the brakes are applied. This will give the viewers uh, immediate feedback on when the car is slowing down or coming to a stop. And you can also check the gameplay right now to see what we're gonna be creating. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is uh, create a new trail so that we can put it inside our wheel. So we go into the game objects and we go into extras and the effects and we go as we build a trail. So as you can see here, the trail is here. If I ever manage to use it. And uh, as you can see, it's a white trail. Uh, so it's not like how we want it to be. So what we're gonna do is create a new material, first of all, and uh, we're gonna set this as a universal render pipeline, and then particles and simple lit. We change the surface type to transparent, and we can use uh, we can leave this alone for now. Now we go back to our trail, and we put our new material. Uh, inside the materials list right there. So now if we move it, you can see it's actually a flat trail. Also, it is pretty uh, wide, so we can actually decrease the width by uh, changing the width here. So 0 0.2, let's see now. Yeah, it's a little better. So what we do now is go to the color and uh, we change the color from uh, white to black, all the way to black and both uh, color keys and uh, we change it from uh, alpha being to 255 to go being to zero and then a little bit less so that it looks something like this as you can see yeah perfect okay so now we change the name to tire trail and we create this we set this as a prefab and now we can delete it next we go to our uh, car controller we open it and uh, what we want to do here is go and create a new variable, which we're gonna call public uh, game object uh, tire uh, trail. No, I'm never gonna do this. All right, and uh, we're gonna create a, a new trail uh, object for each wheel. So we're gonna go to our wheel particles, since this can be considered a particle. We're gonna copy paste this. <laughs> And we're gonna change it from particle system to trail renderer, like this. And also change the name to include trail, since this is a trail. Good, okay. So, uh, now we want to initiate the actual uh, trail. So we go to where we initiate the particles. So, I think it's here. Yeah, initiate smoke. You can actually change this to initiate... Uh, particles. Let's change this. Yeah, all right. So basically, we do the exact same thing we did with the particles, but we do it for the trails. So we get the actual uh, position of the wheel, and then we multiply it by the radius, so we get how much the radius of the wheel is. And so we move the particle to the bottom of the wheel. Good. So instead of smoke uh, prefab, we're gonna have a tire trail. And uh, yeah, let's change this real quick. And instead of FR wheel, we we're gonna have FR wheel trail. And everything's gonna be a trail if I do this correctly. Uh, trail again, and there you go. Good. So now we need to change this from a particle system to a trail render as well. Good. So. Now, our cars, if we try to check it, uh, and actually put the tra our trail uh, game object here. So now, our cars, if we try to play it, 
it's gonna look weird. It's gonna have just trails running around all the time, which is not what we want. We want uh, the trails to start working if the car's slipping. So to do that, uh, we go back to our script. And when we create smoke particles, uh, which is basically here so for check particles, uh, we are gonna initiate the small the trail render as well. So here it basically checks if the sideways uh, slip is bigger than the, for the forward slip, sorry, than the forward rotation. So it checks if the tire is slipping, and if it is, then it, in it in initiates the particles. So we're gonna put our uh, wheel uh, trail as well here. So we're gonna call it by wheel particles dot fr wheel trail, and it's actually pretty easy. Just emitting equals true. And the exact same, op the, sorry, the opposite thing for to stop it. Good. So we do this for each wheel. And we change the fell wheel trail. And we're gonna be okay. Alright, so I changed the, all the wheel trails to include the RL wheel trail. Wheel trail. And this is gonna be nice. So we go back to Unity and we're gonna test this out. So let's see if it works. So now that we accelerate the car, it actually goes forward without any trails. But if we brake, you can see that there are trails behind. And now the same thing if we drift. So if we drift, you can actually see the trails behind the car. The only problem is that uh, sometimes the car is drifting, but the trails are not uh, spawning. So the thing here is that the slip wheel allowance is 0 0.5, but we want this to around. 0.1 or 0.2. Let me actually put it as 0.2. So now this should be fine. And uh, next thing we're gonna do is actually uh, make our uh, headlights actually go bright when we break the car. So what it's gonna look like? It's gonna look like if we go to material, we go to red and plus two. It's gonna look something like this when we break, and when we don't break, it's gonna look like this. Okay. So. We go back to our Visual Studio and we go to our variable list and we create a new variable which we're gonna call uh, public material dot uh, break material uh, and we're go also gonna create a new color which we're gonna call breaking color and now the intensity of the lights which we're gonna call uh, uh, color intensity yeah Call a break intensity. Okay. So now what we want to do is find out when we break. So we go to our apply break function. Uh, yeah. And here we say that if the break input is higher than zero, then we're gonna sorry, then we're gonna actually light up the the breaks. So what we can actually do is actually check if our break material is actually set it, and if it's not, we shouldn't do anything, or else we're gonna get a null exception error. So what we do now is go actually access our break material, and we set our actual emission. So set sorry enable keyword, and now this is going to be a mission. So we actually what what we're doing now is going to our break. Uh, material and we are uh, setting this emission to true so if we set this to red as you can see this looks uh, like uh, it's glowing uh, so we go back to our script and we're gonna set the color of uh, that so set color sorry dot set color to what so to find out what our emission colors here the emission is we go to our edit and as you can see here in uh, our shader, there is this thing called emission color. That's what we want to access. It, what we want to access. So we copy this, and we set it to our set color, and uh, we also put our breaking color. Perfect. And now we do the exact opposite thing for uh, when we're not breaking. So we disable this, disable keyword, and this is going to be color black. All right. So this is going to work, uh, with the only exception that uh, it's not gonna glow like we want it to. So here we accelerate, we break, why we do not break? We do not break because we've forgotten to put the material. So we go back to our car and we put our material here. 
and also sorry our material here and we also set the color to red and let's try it so we accelerate and we break and as you can see it's glowing it's not glowing well but it's glowing so to actually make it glow very well like to make it glow like uh if it's a meeting uh with intensity like here you can see there's this intensity meter so if we go plus two it's actually glows plus four it glows even more but yeah that's a lot so i think that's plus two is like what we want so what we do here uh we actually need to multiply our breaking color uh, by the power of two to the number that we want so math dot power so two and uh our intensity color so okay so this is so our uh, render can actually understand that we're that we want uh, HDR colors and we don't want flat colors since the Unity render pipeline actually supports that. So we're gonna set the break color intensity to 2 and let's try this out. And if, yeah, sorry, I forgot a parenthesis here. Okay, let's try this. And let's see if it works. And works perfect. Alright, so let's see if uh, it works. Yeah, it works even in, in reverse. And uh, let's actually try out our uh, trail renders and the drift of this uh, car controller. Yeah, that's how it should work. So yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.